Michael Henlein, thank you for joining us on Zerfi Canal. You are a professor of marketing, scientific director of the Big Data Research Center and associate dean of the ESCP Europe Executive PhD program. So your work gives insight to analyze all the communication managers are exposed to about new technology, uh, new technologies uh, such as artificial intelligence, social media or uh, big data. So what should managers uh, be careful about what they read in the press or uh, what they see in the media? I think the first thing that is important to remember is that all these concepts are still relatively recent. Uh, Facebook has been created 15 years ago and a colleague of mine, Andreas Kaplan and me, we defined formally the term social media about 10 years ago in 2010. Uh, big data, which to some extent is a consequence of the massive amount of information that the sites like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram create is around for less than a decade. And artificial intelligence is probably popular since three years when a program that has been programmed by Google beat the world's best player mm. in the board game Go in Deep four blue. out of five cases. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, this means that much of what we read in the business press about artificial intelligence and big data is mostly speculation or individual use cases. Mm. And it doesn't mean that every company spends all their time doing big data and artificial intelligence simply because the press writes about it. Most companies are actually busy doing the things they actually are supposed to do, like producing washing powder and managing airlines and doing bank transactions. So if you are a firm who is not active yet in these areas, it doesn't mean that you are late. It means you are totally normal. Mm. In class, I often compare it to how teenagers talk about sex. Everybody talks about it, but very few people actually do it. So uh, what are the management mistakes, uh, more specifically, that these overrated m messages can lead to? I think the key mistakes that most companies make is that they launch themselves into a project without really knowing what they want to do. They, they think they're late. Exactly. Mm. They invest money in software, they hire consultants, they start projects without really knowing what that should lead to. So it's a bit like if you go into a shop and buy a pen and a piece of paper and then you think you become J.K. Rowling and can write the next Harry Potter. And now that doesn't mean that these tools are not massively powerful if they're used in the right way. Imagine you want to target young people, 18, 20 year old with a new product. This is far from trivial nowadays. Young people don't watch TV anymore. They watch Netflix and YouTube. They don't listen to radio. They listen to Spotify. They don't read magazines. They need Reddit. So most traditional forms of advertising and communication cannot reach them. Mm. This is the reason why most companies use Instagram nowadays, because young people spend on average an hour a day on Instagram. And this is why working with influencers and opinion leaders is so important. I personally have an Instagram channel focused on food and travel that has 10,000 subscribers, and I get contacted by firms every week mm. with potential promotions. So uh, what advice would you give managers to avoid these pitfalls? I think there are probably three main pieces of advice that I would give. The first one is that you should look for the nail before you look for the hammer. So you need to look for an actual problem that you want to solve, and then you can decide whether this problem can be solved using artificial intelligence or big data. The second point is that you actually measure the things that are supposed to be measured. Measuring how many likes a picture gets or how many retweets a tweet get is ultimately not of interest for a firm because a firm is interested in selling more products. And I'm doing work on how firms can actually calculate how much a like is worth, how much a picture is worth in order to identify how much an influencer should be paid, for example. And the last point is that you probably rely at least at the beginning, on outside help. There are so many technical skills involved in artificial intelligence and big data, so many statistical techniques to learn, that in most cases it doesn't make sense for a firm to build them skills on themselves. So they should hire consultants at least at the beginning and then decide whether they actually want to implement these solutions in the long term. Michael Henlein, thank you so much for your time and thank you for all of these punchlines that I'm sure will make a great impact. Thank you very much.